Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where I'm going to be talking about why I believe the blue whale pet is better than a baby yeti. Let's get into it. The first thing we're going to look at is the uh, the blue whale's abilities. So it gives 200 base health, which is nice, 200 health is always nice. All potions heal 250 hearts. You gain 3 defense per 20 max health, and you gain 20% max health. Which this is really good, obviously these are the stats at level 100, so it scales based on its level. But these are very good perks, because, you know, you do you see I'm at 1.2k health there? Put it on, or right up to 1.6k, almost 1.7k. So it gives you a lot of health. It doesn't give you that much defense though, but it does still give you some because of that middle perk. So I feel like it's a kind of, like, good balance between, um... Like, between giving health and defense, and the one perk that it has over the, um, Baby Yeti, as we'll take a look at, is that it doesn't need strength to be good. So, let, let's take a look at the Baby Yeti now. Okay, here we are looking at the Baby Yeti now. As you see, it gives 75 intelligence, 40 strength. The first perk, Cold and Breeze, gives 50 strength and, uh, and 50 crit damage when near snow, which, kind of useless. Ice Shields, which is the main perk of this is pets is the main reason it's used you get 100 percent of your strength is defense that scales by level so if you have like a level 76 i'll give you 76 percent is your strength is defense and then yeti fury it buffs the yeti sword by 100 damage and intelligence which eh, like it's okay but there's i feel like better pets that you could probably pair with the yeti sword to make it better than that so that, that's like the kind of overview of it now let's get into um why i feel the whale is better. Alright, so the main reason that I feel like the whale is better than Yeti is just because of the second perk of the Yeti needing strength. Because in a lot of, like, positions in the game, you don't get a lot of strength. So having a pet that, you know, needs all that extra strength really only works if you're playing the Berserker class or doing Enderman Slayer. But even then, it still kind of gets overshadowed, because most of the time in dungeons, you have a tank with you, so you don't really need the extra EHP, and most of the time we'll go for a damage pet. And same thing with E-Man Slayer, is at a certain point of doing E-Man Slayer, most people just switch to using an Ender Dragon pet instead, which sure is a lot more expensive, so Yeti is still a very good budget option for Enderman Slayer, but it still does get over, it still does get uh, outclassed by something else. But for example, if you're playing tank... There's no better pet than using a blue whale. Just because you don't need strength, because as tank you don't get any strength. So being able just to have all that extra defense and HP just helps a lot more. One thing that I will give to the baby yeti is the fact that for the main perk of it, you will only need an epic version of that pet. Which means that it takes a lot less pet XP, I believe it's only 18 million instead of 25 million for a legendary. Because the legendary perk of the pet is pretty useless. So you only do need an epic for it, which is makes it a lot easier to get to a decent level than the blue whale. But still, with the all the extra like help you're getting from the blue whale, I think it's still a better option. Even for, uh, as we said earlier, even Ender Slayer might be slightly better. If you only have a blue whale, it'll still work quite well for it. Like, I still used a blue whale for quite a lot of E-Man. Sure, you get a little bit more defense uh, using, using Baby Yeti, but the blue whale is still a viable option for it. Which just makes you kind of think. It really makes you think of why so many people still recommend using the Baby Yeti pet, when it's only really useful in very particular situations, like a Berserk trying to go from floor 5 to floor 6, or someone using it to kill Enderman bosses if they need that extra HP for tier 3s or tier 4s. But like, that's the only real uses I've seen for it. Please, by the way, let me let me know in the comment section if I'm missing any like common uses for this pet that I didn't mention, or any other uses you might use this pet for. But other than that, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. In my overall opinion, I believe that the blue whale is just a way better option, and I feel like a lot of people should be using blue whale instead of baby yeti. That's just my personal opinion on this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.